people look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success. So you are changing. You don't change who you are, the core of who you are, the things you believe, the things you love, and the things you die for, and your principles. You don't change that, but you're going to change who you are. You're going to change, you know, you can't do the same things that you, you can't hang on the corner. Some people may not be comfortable with that. And then it deals with the other side of success, um, how people look at you when you're successful. Media medals, people sue you, settle. Every step you take, they remind you you get it. So no matter how far you are, you still have that stigma on you of where you come from when you walk inside the door. How many dunks you about to catch? Right now, you know, I really know it depends. Yeah. Like, if somebody jump at me, he's just going to get dunked. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Yeah. It's about that time, you know? God damn. You know, I've been thinking back to when I was five. Um, especially I really looked up to the most of my great grandfather. He used to take me to the park every day. I um, watched me play basketball. But um, passed away. You know, he literally died right in front of me. You know, when I was young, you know, he used to protect me. You know, I almost got one time. Because um, I was playing some kid and I basically broke his chain. And my grandfather came um, and, you know, stopped him. Because on a wheelchair, you know, trying to save my life. So. You know, I always, always looked up to him, always, when I'm on the court, you know, I work as hard as I can for him. I transferred to um, Connecticut, to school in Connecticut now, you know, I'm trying to do my thing out there, hopefully get a couple of offers, but uh, I'm going to just continue to work. Like, over the summer, I was playing a bunch of tournaments, trying to stay dyke, and, you know, doing AAU, and, you know, I, I, I didn't really have a lot of money to get around, so what I do is, you know, I take my bike around, I live right there by the projects. I grabbed my day for the first shoot and you know I take my bike every day out and go play my games and go home and eat. And when I you know, but um so far I'm doing pretty good, you know, I'm gonna continue to work this season and work as hard as I can for my family, for myself, work hard, hit the books this summer. Um hopefully I might play for the Dominican national team. Go as hard as I can, you know, try to get my office up and you know that's just my story by number five.